and I have upgraded to Ruth today. She actually bought our first van from us, Tony Vanza, and Ruth loved van life so much that she actually has since upgraded and custom built her own new van and we're excited to tour today. So thank you Ruth for having us and let's step inside. You walk in here and it looks so polished, so stunning. First thing you see is this beautiful kitchen. Tell me about this. All right. This is a great kitchen. Got this big old thing because I need to pull that down so I can wash my hair, etc. I love my sink. I guess, I don't know if you can tell how easy that will be to take care of, but you know, we got our fresh water and our gray water, normal things like that. I've got my water pump right here. This is the fresh water. This is the gray water. And the hose is right here. You pull that hose out. Here's where you would connect it. And you can take it right out the side door there. The great thing about this setup is that you, because you can attach that and put the hose out there, you never have to pick this up, pull that out. Because like I say, one day I'm gonna get old and I will not want to pick things up and take them out. Such a nice setup. And I just love the fact that Ruth has this decoy soap dispenser, which is actually her water fill spot. Then we got this light for under the, this area. And then I've got a USB port where you can plug in two devices or this kind of, what is that, 110? Mm -hmm. Whatever, mm -hmm. you know, normal stuff. And that'll tell me whether I'm warm or not. <laughs> Ruth has lots of gauges and sensors and monitors all over this van. So at any given second, she can determine exactly how much power she has, yes. the temperature in here. I love that you just, you know everything. Totally in control. In control, that's it, right there. Well, this refrigerator, the great thing about it is it has separate compartments. There's a freezer, there's the refrigerator part. Nice little refrigerator. The best thing about the refrigerator is my magnet. If you really wanted to, you would. This is for all the people that watch us and live their lives through us, who think they want to do it. They should just do it. Okay. I've got this great uh, paper towel dealie that I picked up the idea from Trent and Allie, because <laughs> this won't go flying, you know. Very you nice. You can take one or several. Kitchen stuff. Pantry. Your pantry. That's it. Yeah. That's it. A big old pantry. Two of them right there. And so here is uh, the most important part of the kitchen which is my microwave, couple pots and pans, my induction hot plate, another pan, and a uh, porta potty. It's just a bucket with a toilet seat on it. And so I have bag, I have sawdust. I think I have some chemicals someplace. Anyway, it's very simple. I'm never gonna use this except at night, if I need to at night. Otherwise, I'm using public restrooms. It just makes life real simple. Tucked away, never smells. We're good. Uh, Keep it as simple, I like it. Exactly. Yeah. So, there you have the kitchen. I, I just think this is so beautiful. This countertop came out so well. This nice black sink contrasts really nicely. It gives it a really regal, refined regal. feeling in here. Yeah, I this doesn't, it, regal. it doesn't feel like a van. It feels like a very nice kitchen. Classy. This is the living room slash bedroom slash office slash dining area oh so multi-purpose i love it now should i show how it's yes please watch? my uh, desk slash dining room table pulls down even though that looks like the covers that pull out there's a light in here so i've got plenty of light another another uh usb port thing there then I've got all these little, you know, things on in this cubbies, like paper clips, uh, you know, three by five cards, my pens, my clips, these clips, everything you'd ever want right there for office. And then two file drawers slide out very nicely. And you can access them from either side. But this, see, this is why this is a big part of the design because it's important for me to have a place to read and study. Read my Bible, you know, chill. 
If I want to eat, I'll eat here. This is a wall of storage. This is every <laughs> van lifer's dream. There's just all drawers and shelves and cupboards and openings and every single shelf is so well organized and so well thought out. Great foresight you had, Ruth. I'm just like nice figuring design. out. Nice design, I must say. <laughs> here is all my personal stuff. Vitamins, hair stuff, makeup, tooth care. Eventually, I'll know exactly what is in every little bin. It'll be very, very easy to just pull it out, do what I got to do, put it back in nice and neat. There you go. So this little gauge tells me the current voltage. This tells me the percentage of battery. This is the builder's part of the van. And I have four, I think they're, uh, they're deep cell batteries. I think it's 100 watt. All kind of fuses and knobs and things to turn on and off but basically what i do is that then it goes along with that we have this humongous heavy uh, inverter charger which is wonderful and it's humongous because ruth said that she loves power, power. she wants the power <laughs> mm -hmm. i want to just live real simple mm -hmm. and this is doing it these drawers are, are all going to be for clothes i don't have them filled yet more start, don't look at that my underwear is in there well then up here i have some tennis shoes and just stuff you have to have places to just put stuff this is my golf clubs which is the most important oh no that was the microwave wasn't it no this is the most important part of the van because you cannot go anywhere without your golf clubs i mean you can leave your underwear someplace but not your golf clubs i have to have them and i also keep my backpack in here which carries everything i need to go and take a shower because i don't have a shower in here so i use a truck stop and a gym and you know underneath again we just have just some stories nice story this is where i store my bedding i have an electric blanket which i think i can use because i have power this cabinet is for food there's no food in there yet i have two two uh ipads in case one breaks i have to have one so i have two you know i like two of everything but now the van's too small for two of everything a little place for my thing for the fantastic fan two of these usb no one usb thing there that fits two you can charge two things there and then a 12 volt dealy and then again 110 down here and lights you can have those on only like if you're sitting in on the couch or in bed at night and you want some light there it is uh here's the bedroom part the bed is right here pull this out no nope. when it goes that far it's all i need i'm by myself no plans for anything else then there's a thing that falls down you put the couch squeeze it in there you got a bed there you go it's called my happy place right there and here's what's nice i still have room to walk from the front to the back i can go out the back door i can go out the side door or i can just get over here to my drawers and my clothes and all that without standing on the bed i love that this van also is so photogenic and beautiful from the back side ours is just a huge open empty garage uh, not empty huge <laughs> very full garage um, but this is nice that you can walk in through the back doors. I can put clothes up here. The builder's wife, wonderful as she is, made these for me. They're insulated. They go in with magnets. This matches the curtain that I have. And you have your nice hat and an extra step yes, just I in do. case. This is, if the ladies like to step up like that, they can do it. I prefer just to grab my handle and go up. But uh, you got to have this. Linda made this curtain, got a little insulation in it, Reflectix on the inside, and it's in two pieces so that I can just unclip. And then this part, you can roll up like so, because the part of the window that opens is right here. Slide this, and that window opens. Tie a little in a little bow and uh, leave that open if you want that ventilation, especially if you use your fantastic fan at the same time then you got a little wind tunnel thing going on um, but this whole thing from front to back you can take it off because it goes on very simply like that there you go all the lights you ever wanted i've got this full length mirror so you know because girls i'm a girl and so i have to have the mirror 
got lights over it. Now these lights will also work individually on their switches and then this switch uh, as one. So, and you can put those at any angle that you want. Put them all straight if you want to. Nice touch, right? So Ruth, I'm really curious to know what got you into van life? What drew you to it to begin with? And I got so tired of things they're not really complicated but all of a sudden they seemed complicated and it's like i just want to live simply if i looked around my house i didn't use the living room the chairs the great big old flat screen beautiful tv didn't use it if i wanted to watch tv i went in the bedroom so i used the bedroom i used the bathroom and i used the kitchen i used the microwave now i could do i wouldn't have any trouble you know paying the bills but it's like i just got tired of life as usual i saw a couple videos of people you know living in vans and i said whoa that will work i'm over 30 so i know enough to do a little experiment <laughs> so i rented a minivan i bought a camper cot about yay wide you know and i bought the porta potty the first night that i slept on that cot in the back of that van i said oh i can totally do this <laughs> because the feeling of freedom is just absolutely indescribable. Now, I didn't really have my home with me, but it was very easy to picture from there how it would be to have your home with it. And from that point on, it wasn't, I kind of think I'd like to do this. It was, I'm going to do this. And of course, everyone thought I was crazy. But some people have come around and understand that um, it might not be crazy. Mm -hmm. It might be okay, and it totally fits me. So uh, basically, that's that's it in a nutshell. Does it make you nervous at all to be an older woman traveling in a van by herself? Did you just say older woman? Over Go thirty. <laughs> over thirty. <laughs> I did say that, didn't I? Um, no, I'm not the least bit nervous. No, not the least bit nervous. Do you carry a, a weapon or anything with you for self-defense? Um, I actually. Uh, don't. I do have uh, some wasp spray. A wasp spray? You can get them at 15 feet with wasp spray. <laughs> but I'm not concerned. Because mm -hmm. the thing is, uh, first of all, you know, I, you, you know enough to know that you can go by your gut. Mm. If I stop someplace and I'm like, mm -hmm, I'm like, oh, I think I'll leave. So you turn the key, start the car, and take your house someplace else. Yeah. And so, no, I'm not the least bit nervous. And where do you generally sleep? On that bed right there. <laughs> I did a lot of truck stops. I love truck stops. They've got great showers. And usually there's a place for the RVs and vans to park and another separate lot for the trucks. Mm -hmm. So you're not taken away from what the truckers have to do and want to do. Then I stayed at 24-hour gyms. And there's just all kinds of places you can stay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a lot easier than people so, think it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So Ruth, common question, I mean, this van is a little bit bigger than the minivan that you rented originally, yeah. but why not just go all out into an RV? Couple reasons. Mm -hmm. One, I designed this, so it's the way I want it. I designed it, I couldn't design an RV. Secondly, I'm not even interested in of the whole Blackwater deal. But also, to drive, mm -hmm. this is the easiest thing in the world to drive, a van, are you kidding? Mm -hmm. Easy to drive, easy to park, you can put it in a regular parking place. There might be some other reasons too that I forgot, but listen, this is the option, this is the way to go, mm -hmm. right here. Well, I think the last question I have to ask, okay. I'm sorry to put you on the spot like this, Ruth, is uh -oh. are you doing this to become Instagram or social media famous? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I can barely turn on my iPad. Does that tell you anything? Well, Ruth, thank you so much. <laughs> this was so much fun. We're so happy to be able to check in with you along your van yeah. life journey. Thank you. Um, and I gotta say, I'm a little jealous. <laughs> this is a girl's dream a with storage. all the storage and yeah. having the house to yourself. Yeah. Um, maybe you go with Trent and I'll, I'll take it. No, you that's not gonna happen. <laughs> I like my van. <laughs> Well, thank you guys for watching as well. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Subscribe to Trent and Allie if you're not already, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks. Subscribe, or we're going to have to hurt you. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one.